Doctor Who, the Crown Crowrotons, Episode 2. The Learning Hall. The Doctor puts his hands up in front of his face. The probe starts to swing around, searching. He crawls away, keeping his back to it. Doctor. Zoe, oh Doctor, don't move. Doctor, it's all right, Zoe. I think it, it's quite safe now. Jamie, oh, it wouldn't, I wouldn't be so sure. Doctor, just watch this, Jamie. Doctor walks towards the probe, still holding his hand out in front of his face. Suddenly, he drops them, and the probe swings towards him, and then he raises them again. It resumes its search. Zoe, pattern recognition. Doctor, yes, and the pattern is my face. Sir, Sir Raris. Doctor, do you mean that the thing was sent to attack you and only you? Doctor, yes, it's so it seems. It's rather flattering, isn't it? Zoe, well then, the crow rotons know who you are. Jimmy, I. Zoe, or, or at least what you look like. Doctor, yes, that means they must have a scanner in a wall machine. Now we can find... Now, if we can find that, we might be able to get in touch with them. Jamie Doctor, the Doctor has lowered his hands to talk to his companions. A probe is about to strike. Everyone scatters. A student uh, tries to sneak up behind the probe with an axe and gets a dose of disintegrating gas for his efforts. As slyly outlined, actually outlined with his axe, are all that remains. Jamie, oh no, the computer removes the Doctor's image. It's green, a probe. Probe retreats back through the hole in the wall. Jamie's gone back. Doctor, yes, poor fellow, must have confused its attack mechanism. Jamie, ah? Uh? Doctor, well, it was programmed to kill once. Me? It just, it must think it's a, that it succeeded, stupid machine. There's, a, a, there's your wonderful creatons for you, father murderers. Ferrara throws the student's axe at the door. Sararis. No, Ferrara. Don't provoke them, Ferrara. Is that all you care about, not provoking them? Sararis. What can we do against their weapons, Ferrara? We can fight. Computer, this is a warning. Your leader has been destroyed. All gods leave the learning hall at once, at once, Ferrara. No, stay and fight, computer. Leave the learning hall. All gods, leave the learning hall. Ceres, everyone, leave the hall now. Ceres is house. Verena is lying with her eyes open as the doctor examines her with a bright light. Zoe, where did that this come from? Doctor, I borrowed it from Beta. Zoe, but I thought they didn't know anything about electricity. Doctor, they don't. That that works on stored solar energy. Yes, the ghouls are quite advanced in some ways. Their medicine's very good. They haven't, they haven't got much general chemistry. I wish I had. They had an EC, ETC machine, though. Zoe, yes, there are tremendous gaps in their knowledge. Well, they only seem to know what machines teach them. But the yes, and the machines are programmed by the cryodons to. So the gaps of knowledge may be significant. Ah, Sarahis. Sarahis? How is she, Doctor? Doctor? Well, I think she's better. It's difficult to tell Sarahis. It's safe to enter the learning hall yet? Sarahis, why? Doctor, Zoe? I want to take a look around, don't we, Zoe? Zoe, ah. Oh, we do. Do we? Doctor, yes, that's right. Jamie, hold out your hand, will you? Doctor, Jamie, what for? Doctor, these pills I got from Beta. Jamie? There's nothing wrong with me. Doctor, no, no. They're for Vienna. I want you to stay and look after her. Jamie, oh, now, why can't I go with you, Doctor? Because I particularly want you to give her these tablets at the moment she wakes up. Jamie, oh, well. Sorry, well, why are we going back to Learning Hall? 
doctor to learn, Zoe, why else? Sir Harris, I'm coming with you, doctor. Doctor, oh, my dear fellow, there's no need for that, Sir Harris. I must know what is happening, doctor. Oh, well, certainly. Come along, Zoe. The doctor and Sir Harris leave. Jamie, Zoe, watch him. You know what he's like, Zoe. Oh, don't worry, Jamie. I'm sure he doesn't do anything rash. Learning hall, Sir Harris. Send the squ squad of guards armed with pikes up the steps. Doctor, Sir Harris, what's that? A trap door on the floor at the bottom of the stairs. Sir Harris, oh, that leads to the end of hall. Doctor, oh, what's down there? Sir Harris, nothing. It's never, it's never used. Doctor, I wonder how far underneath. Let's take a look, shall we? The doctor opens the trap door and it starts down the steps. Doctor, oh, yes. A bit dark and musky down here. So he stay up there, will you? He shan't be long. Sarah so follows the doctor down. So he sits himself down at learning console and puts on the headset. He presses some buttons and a pattern comes up on the monitor in front of her. It resolves itself into a series of equations. Activity alerts the computer. The doctor and Sarah climb back out of the top door. Sarah, I told you there was nothing down there. Doctor, oh... But there was, Sarris, something rather curious. Sarris, only the foundation of the machine. It starts and stands on those metal pliers. Dr. Zoe. The doctor takes the headset off Zoe. Dr. Zoe. Zoe, oh, you're back. You're soon back, doctor. Doctor, what do you think you're doing? Zoe, I was just trying to machine. Doctor. You should know better than to do a thing like that. Zoe, oh, but Doctor, I was so e oh, so easy. Aquaritons were very pleased with me. Doctor, very please? Zoe, well, I felt they were. Doctor, Zoe, now just you listen to me. Whatever else they are, those cryotons are certainly not friendly. Now we know that, don't we? Zoe, yes, of course. Doctor, they use this machine to plant impressions in, in the mind. That's how they enslave these people all, all these years. Sarah's doctor? Doctor what? Sarah's, look at the doll. Doctor, oh, what of it? Sarah's, it's amazing. Even the best of our students registered less than half that score. Doctor, yes. Well, it's only something of a genius. Of course, it can be very irritating at times. Sarah's house. Vanna awakes. We'll start grasping. Jimmy, Vanna, you're right now. You're safe. Vienna, the bell. The burning ball. Jimmy, what? Vanna, it's over my head. Jamie, Vanna, there's nothing here now. Vanna, no, no, I saw it, I saw it. Jamie, Farah, look. Farah, look, takes Vanna in his, ar in his arms. Farah, now, Vanna, they're all right. There's nothing here. You're safe. Vanna, it was flashing. All the lights burning my mind. The lights. Farah, Vanna, you're right now. You're home. Vanna, 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 Vanna. Is that you, Vanna? At least she recognises me. Vanna, listen. Nothing can hurt you now. You're going to be all right. Vienna, Farah, I knew I went into the machine. Jamie, well, did you see the quarantons? Vienna, the ball flashing came down on me. Farah, you're quite safe here, Vienna. Vienna, no, no, no. Jamie, you better take these here. Jamie gives Vienna tablets and some water. Jamie, drink up now. All down, that's it. Jamie, Vienna falls asleep. Day, flashing ball, burning your mind. Uh, what does he mean? Is it all the Cryotons weapons? Jamie, I don't know. Look, you stay here with her. I'll go get the doctor. Learning Hall. The doctor and Zoe are examining the door. Zoe, it's Christine line. Doctor, yes, it's hard, but it's not brittle. i never seen anything like it. Zoe, what was it like down there? Doctor, hmm. Oh, that was Sarah's calling the calls the foundation, Zoe. It was like a root structure. Zoe, root structure? But that indicate but indi indicates that Zoe, that the so called machine is organic in structure, yes. Zoe, well, is that possible? Doctor, well, why not? Some crystals do resemble simple virus forms. I wish I could get a bit of it to analyse. Zoe, well, if you're right, that means that the whole of this machine is sort of a living thing. Tell the well, if all life doesn't necessarily have feelings, you know, 
metallic clang echoes loudly. Doctor, giant jumping grasshoppers. What's that? Sir, so, Sir so command. It means there is a message for me. I hatch when the probe came out. It's open. Sir, so, reaches in the message pad. Doctor, oh, what does it say, Sir? So, class 3179. Class 3197. Selected female, Zoe Gould. Doctor Zoe Gould? Zoe, they mean you. Sir, so, they've chosen you as a companion. Doctor, and we all know what happens to them, don't we? Say, oh, Doctor, what shall I do, Doctor? Well, we doesn't, she doesn't have to do, go, does she? Well, does she, or doesn't she? Sarah, so I'm afraid she must. Complete obedience is the Coriton's first command. If you fail to obey, Doctor, they will destroy you, I see. Say, oh, dear, Doctor, now you see what you've done, fooling around this stupid machine. Say, oh, but I'm not a gold, Doctor, but that... But that machine doesn't know that. Zoe, what are you going? Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? Dad, I'm going to take the test. I can't let you go there alone. What do I do, Doctor? Oh, Zoe, I'll sit down. Put this headset up. I press the button. Press the button. Dad, all right. They don't need to shout. Now go away. You don't fuss me. Go. No, come back. What's this? Oh, it's all right. I know. Right. Fire away. I'm ready. Zoe just says to him. Press a button. The circling symbols come up, but doesn't, he doesn't manage to get them in the current, current equations. Zoe, oh, Doctor, you've got it all wrong. Doctor, oh, dear, I've been working square roots. Can I have, another, have that again, please? Zoe, why well, you don't give you a second shots? Well, press the button again. Zoe, this is the most advanced machine, perhaps. You can't answer the questions, Zoe. Of course you can. The Doctor, oh, I'm almost as clever as I am. So, yes, I see... Doctor, oh, now, oh, now what have they done? Zoe, oh, Doctor, you divided instead of multiplying. You must concentrate. Doctor, I am, Zoe, I am. Can we do watch his results? Need a flicker wildly from five to ten and try to bounce beyond the upper limit, Doctor. Yes, I think, as I'm better, I think I've scored more than you have, Zoe. Zoe, you've answered more questions besides. Is it supposed to be competition? Doctor, is it? It's clever, isn't it? The way you, they make a, you feel, you, you, they're pleased with you. So, yes, perhaps the quietons aren't as bad as we think, Doctor. What? Of course they are. What happens now? What happens now, Ceres? The quietons will be waiting for Zoe. Doctor, well, they can wait. We're going to the, in there together, Ceres, normally. And they don't come through in the, for some time. Zoe, well, mine did. Ceres, yes, perhaps you were very, they were impressed with your performance. That's why a gong sounds, Doctor. Sounds a bit like a dinner gong, doesn't it, Zoe? So it's class 3198, selected male, Dr. Good. Dr. Dr. Good, idiots. The night, the night go away, open Zoe. Well, it means, well, it means you anyway, Dr. Yes. Well, are we, are you ready, Zoe? I suppose we have to, have to, have, we have to. Dr. Well, we started this, we'd better go through with it. We got to get to the bottom of this somehow, Zoe. Zoe, oh, this is all my fault, Doctor. Oh, cheer up, cheer up. I expect it'd be quite interesting, really. Sir, so, I'm sorry, Doctor. My people will always remember you, Doctor. Huh? Oh, that's very nice of them. Stay close to me, Zoe. Jamie, Doctor, no, wait, come back. The Doctor and Zoe, a wordy step through, and the door is closing. Jamie, what's happened? Sir S, your people are gone. They're now companions to Coriotons. Jamie, what? Diaphrope control. The door opens and the doctor and Zoe enter room. Zoe, it's a spaceship. Doctor, yes, but it doesn't seem to be have any crew. Hello, anybody there? Is anybody at home? Hello? I notice two seats. Zoe, I think there are, we've been asked to sit down. Doctor, yes, I think we have. Zoe, uh, Zoe, hold on to the end of this chain. The doctor hands Zoe one end of the chain of his pocket watch. Zoe, what for? Doctor, look up there. It's a false generator. The chain may help to equalize the power load. Zoe, well, what are you going? What are they going to do? Eric Stall, pillar, light object shines a light on them. Doctor, I can't move. Doctor, Zoe, I can't. Doctor, I can't move. Doctor, no, it's a false field. Try and relax, relax. A device lowers from the ceiling, sending a beam light whirring around the room. Learning hall, Jamie. But why did you let them go? Sir, it's Commander Corinthians. Don't you, oh, you, yuck. 
the Croatons. They must wrap out an elder, and everyone jumps, don't they? I well, I'm not standing here to see my, my service. Where are you going, Dr. Jamie, to find out a way into this box of tricks? Jamie thumps on the door. Diaphragm control. A tube in a pillow is filling in li- with liquid. A Dr. Zuri are un- under considerable strain. A chain in your holding begins to smoke. Never elsewhere bubbles from, from it, form in vats. A doctor and Zoe pass up briefly. Doctor, are you right, Zoe? Oh, Zoe, yes, I think so. Doctor, oh, Zoe, what happened? Doctor, oh, some tremendous power. Oh, Zoe, they seem to have a way of transcending mental power to pure energy. Doctor, yes, they used it, or rather, or rather us, to operate a thermal switch. Zoe, Doctor, look, Doctor, yes, the vats are next to them, bubbling away. Zoe thought there was a wall there here. Zoe, Doctor, yes, there was. Zoe, I think I'm beginning to understand. Zoe, what's that? Doctor, that, that, well, that's curious, Zoe. I think we've gone and done it. Zoe, what? Doctor, well, we just, just, now, well, just wait, just a minute. I've got an idea. The doctor takes out a small sample bottle and takes some liquid from the vats. Doctor, ah, yes, it's full of slurry crystals in suspension. Zoe, but what is its purpose, Doctor? Well, life is supposed to begin on a planet in a sea. Primal soup, someone once called it. Well, they are lots of, there are lots of soups, aren't they? I wonder what sort this is. Zoe, what do you suppose these are? They look like astronauts, airlines. Doctor, yes, you think, I think you're right, Zoe. Look, something solid forming in the vats. Zoe, oh, Doctor, Doctor, I think the time we got... It's time we got out of here. Come along. Diaphragm corridor. Doctor. Zoe. Well, what are, you waiting, what are we going to do if we can't get out? We haven't learned anything yet, Doctor. Yes, we have. Once we can analyse this. Now, come on. A metal crystal creature has got out of the vat and one of the oil lines attached on it to its middle. Second one is in the process of forming. Sorry, learning hall. Ceres, there is no way in. Jamie, look, there's a door. Here, I, I, if I can just open, get it open, Ceres. No one can enter unless the Croatons wish it. Jamie, well, we'll see about that. All I need is some sort of crowbar. Diaphragm control. Second feature is out of that. Croaton 1, the gold wants to be here. Croaton 2, they are in the exit shaft. Croaton, why? They are conditioned to play. Croton 2, the conditioning may have failed. Diaphragm exit shaft. A doctor's only go through the area with tubes, the walls, and, and a strange object, object in the centre. They push their way past, hanging tubes in the other door. Zoe? It should slide somewhere. Zoe? Doctor, yes. It must be a trip mechanism. Zoe? Doctor, look. It's a, par- it's a photoelectric cell here. It can't, it can't be working. Doctor, well... If it's not working, Zoe, then the Quaitons have cut the circuit. Doctor, yes. Zoe, then we're trapped. They know we're here. Doctor, just a moment, I have a dear. Zoe, Doctor. Doctor, that piece of makey I picked up. Here we are. Now I can use it to bridge the gap. Zoe, will makey work? Doctor, well, the whole machine's made of crystal. Doctor, wedges a rock in the hole. The door opens. Zoe, Doctor, wait. The poison jet. Diaphragm control. On the view screen, the Croatons are watching exit from outside the diaphragm. Diaphragm. Croaton, they have activated the circuit. Uh, Croaton 2, then dispersion unit will kill them. Croaton, diaphragm, exit, diaphragm, exit shaft. So, Doctor, we've got, to, we've got to risk it. Doctor, yes, but jump down to the side. Don't go down the ramp. Diaphragm control the Crichtons. What the doctor and Zoe come out? Get off the side of the ramp and run away. Crichton, they are not gourds. Crichton too. Why did you interop- Why did you interoperate the dispersion unit? Crichton, we need them alive. Crichton too. Then they have escaped. Crichton, keep the scanner on them. We are all the gourds to catch them and bring them back. Jamie's on the other monitor. Crichton, this is that is not a gourd. Croton 2, it's possible. They've evolved. Croton, there's not been time. It's, sim- it's, a, it's a similar biped animal. But not from this planet. 
It is possible they are higher amphipods that take over the planet. And the image of Cyrus, Gordon too, that is a gourd. These creatures are in alliance with the gourds. Gordon, let us take this one. Jamie, his mind will have the capacity we need. Learning room hall. Jamie's leaving at the door. The crowbar, when it opens, Jamie at last. Cyrus, no, don't enter. Jamie, look, I have this. Jamie's crowbar, enter the dive rope. Trobe, trobe. Dive rope, sent control. Jamie enters, his arms grabbed by Crayotons at the floor. He drops the crowbar and falls into a chair. Crayoton, oh, see. Have you, have you damaged it? Crayoton, too. No, it's alive. Animal tissue is weak. Crayoton, it's recovering. Test its mind. Jamie's pinned down by the glowing ball of light. Crayoton, too. This is not a high brain. It's primitive. Crayoton, too. Curtain. Then the power will kill it. Jamie collapses.